Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you how to become a work from home freelancer and also talk about latest technology. In my last video, I explored some of the new features of ChatGPT. And in today's video, I want to show you how to create your own GPT. The possibilities are endless and you need no coding experience whatsoever. You do, however, need a ChatGPT Plus account. And if you don't have a Plus account, I recommend you watch this tutorial anyways, because I will teach you a few different things you can do to get the same results with the free version of ChatGPT. So what's the point of creating your own custom GPT if ChatGPT already knows everything? Well, the problem is there is too much information out there. And in order to get the best results, you need to train ChatGPT on exactly what it is you want. And the more training you do, the better results you're going to get. As an example, I created this GPT called Grammar Eagle, which you can try out if you click on the link in the description below. And Grammar Eagle, I have trained so that it will analyze grammar punctuation and clarity in American English. Because right now, ChatGPT might correct what I want in American English, in Canadian English, in British English, and I want this to specifically follow American English rules to help with consistency. Not only will Grammar Eagle correct my transcripts or whatever I want to be corrected, it will also give me a summary of all the errors and how it corrected it and even bolden the corrections so I can see exactly what was wrong with them. This is just one example of the types of GPTs that you can create. You could also create a GPT that specializes in writing cover letters because it knows your resume and your experience. And you can upload files to feed it the information that you want. So we're going to create a couple GPTs together. What we're going to do is open up ChatGPT and at the top, just click on Explore. You can see here we have my GPTs, recently used ChatGPTs, and here are some examples of GPTs that were made by OpenAI to give you some ideas. We're going to go ahead and click Create a GPT. So this will open up the GPT Builder and you're basically just going to have a conversation with it telling it what you want it to create. So I'm going to say, I want to create a GPT that helps me correct transcripts in British English. It will focus on correcting grammar, punctuation, and spelling following British English rules. Now it will say updating GPT. So now we're beginning a process. You can see on the side here, this is the preview, a British English expert for transcript correction. Great. Let's start by giving your GPT a name. How about calling it Brick Correct? Do you like this name or do you have another name in mind? So you can ask it for some more ideas. I already know what I want to call it. So I've said that I want to call this GPT Grammar Lion and I want a profile picture that combines an illustrated line with some UK elements and a library background. And now it is generating a profile picture for me using DALI. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I like it, but I want the orange to be a bit more red. Okay, so it says, here's the updated profile picture for Grammar Lion with more red in the design. Does this meet your expectations or is there anything else you'd like to adjust? Now let's refine the context for Grammar Lion. Could you specify the types of transcripts or content it will primarily be working with? So now it's just asking me for some more information. I like this profile picture. You could also upload your own profile picture and I'll show you after how you can do that as well. So I had a bit more of a conversation with GPT Builder. I said that the text will mainly be academic, journalistic, blog posts, etc. They need to be grammatically accurate and free of any spelling, grammar, and punctuation errors. I also said I want Grammar Lion to be friendly and very British. So now we have an option to test out the GPT on the right. You can see here it says friendly British English expert for refining texts. They have some conversation starters. I'm just going to input an incorrect text and see what it comes out with. Okay, so the GPT is really friendly. I like the tone and it has corrected all of the errors in my text and added an explanation. I also intentionally spelled favorite without the U to see if it would pick up on that and it has. I want to make a few other edits because even though Grammar Lion has corrected my sentence, I actually want them to bold in all of the words that they have corrected. So it's a little more obvious to me. So now I've asked GPT Builder to bold in any word that has been added or corrected and any punctuation that has been added or corrected. Explanations of corrections made will be added after the new text output. 
provide corrections in three categories, grammar, punctuation, and clarity. Let's try this again. I'm going to click on this prompt here that says paste your text here. Okay, now I've pasted a text with some errors. So you can see they have corrected my text perfectly. They've added a list of corrections and then added explanations under each section for grammar, for punctuation, and for clarity. The one thing they did not do was bolden any word that had been added. So I could keep insisting to GPT Builder that I want that done as I had to do with Grammar Eagle. In any case, this looks pretty good. So now I can tell GPT Builder I am happy. So now we can click here on configure. And if you want to upload your own profile picture, just click on the circle icon here and do that. You can change the name of your GPT and you can edit the description or the instructions. You can even change the conversation starters and you can also upload files if you have any particular knowledge that you want your GPT to have. So let's say there's a style guide you want it to follow. You could upload that as well and you can enable any of these capabilities. I'm going to let my GPT be able to browse the web and generate images. So now how do you save your GPT? Well, you can click here on save and you can choose to publish it just for yourself, only for people with the link or as public. So I'm just going to click confirm. And now you can see I have under my GPTs, I have Grammar Lion and Grammar Eagle. So if you want to make any edits to this, you can just click on edit. You can also delete your GPT if you want to do that. And if you want to use it, you just click on it and you can go ahead and paste your text and start getting your transcripts corrected. You can also see that I have added my name and website right here because eventually OpenAI is going to roll out the GPT store. And once the store is available, GPTs become searchable and may climb the leaderboards. They might even offer an opportunity for you to be able to earn money based on how many people are using your GPT. So if you create a really popular GPT, it's a really great idea for you to have your business or your website here so people can click on that and instantly go to your website and learn a little bit more about you. This is a great way to help your brand as well. So let me show you how you can add your website and your name. So when you're creating your GPT, before you publish it, if you click on the little drop down arrow beside save, you can click on the pencil icon to the right of your GPT's profile picture. So this will open up your settings and under Builder Profile, you can choose if you want to show your name. Now this name will be set according to your billing details. And you can also choose if you want to enable a website. So in order to enable that, click on the drop down arrow beside domain and click verify new domain. So here you can add your domain. Now this has to be one that you own and you will have to upload a file to your hosting or to your domain registrar. So I've put in my website, now I've clicked submit, and then they've given me this text record that I have to upload onto my website. So if you don't know how to do that and you want me to show you, let me know in the comment section, but there are many tutorials online. It's really easy to do. You should be able to do this either through your domain provider. Let's say you bought a domain with GoDaddy or Namecheap or with your hosting plan. And there are many tutorials online that are different depending on what your hosting plan is. So it should be pretty easy for you to figure out how to do this. And once you've uploaded that, you can click check and then you'll get a notification that it has been verified. And then when you publish your GPT, your website will show up. So people will be able to click on your website to be able to find more information about you or your company. You can't put a link to a YouTube channel, for example, and it has to be a link to a domain name that you own and have access to. So here you can see I've got Grammar Lion. I have a link to my website. I'm going to paste in this little text and see if it will automatically correct it for me. And you can see that this time it did what I said. It has put in bold any of the words or punctuation that has been corrected. And it has given me an explanation of the corrections under each category, grammar, punctuation, and clarity. So let's say you do not have ChatGPT plus and you only have the free account, how can you get these same sort of results? Well, what you can do is open up a new conversation and only use this conversation for your edits, for example. So let's say I have opened up a new conversation and I've given ChatGPT this prompt 
that in this conversation, you'll be my official grammar and punctuation checker. I expect you to analyze, correct, and edit any punctuation errors I make and essentially telling ChatGPT what I want it to do. You could also specify in this conversation, you will only use American English or British English. And once you've sort of trained ChatGPT in this conversation, you can even paste any rules you wanted to follow instead of uploading a file. And after that, you can see I pasted the same little sentence to be corrected and ChatGPT has corrected the sentence with explanations. Now the custom GPT I made was much more detailed and gave me a lot more feedback, but essentially you can get the same sort of results without having to pay for the plus account if you are unable to currently afford it. And then what I would do, so you're able to remember that this conversation is your editor, is go to this side, click these three little buttons, click rename, and let's just say, you know, grammar pal. So now every time you open up ChatGPT to help you correct your grammar or punctuation, you could just go to your conversation that's grammar pal, UK or Grammar Pal America. And you'll be able to use these conversations in the same way that you can use a custom GPT. So you could create a special creative writer or resume creator and just keep all these conversations separate and renamed. And that way you can easily find them and use them for your custom needs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. And I will be doing other videos on more advanced ways to create custom GPT. So stay tuned for that as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.